Hello everyone, my name is Vineet. So let's write a Java program to identify whether an input number is an palindrome number or not. So what is palindrome number? Let's discuss that first. Then we'll be writing a logic for palindrome number. So a palindrome number is a number that remains the same when its digits are reversed. So what it means? Let's say if we have input as one, two, three, two, one. If we reverse this number, so these sorry if we reverse these digits so it will remain same in that case we can say uh, this entered number is palindrome number and will be returning true to the called method in another note if we input uh, the digit one two three one two and if we reverse the this entered number so the reverse digits will be two one three two one and you can see the entered number and the reverse digits uh, both are not same so this is not a palindrome number so we can return false to the caller method and now we are aware of uh, what is palindrome number so we can write a logic for that so now let's get started with program private sorry private static so I'm using return type as boolean so that based on the input I'll be able to re return true or false whether it's uh, the enter value is palindrome or not so let's give the method name is palindrome and it it will be expecting one uh, integer parameter integer input parameter now uh, we need to uh, create a copy of this number in some variable so let's declare one another variable that is palindrome where we'll be keeping the uh, value value of num and we'll be using another variable which will be uh, which will be taking care of uh, the reverse of each digits so that will be reverse and initial will be uh, value of reverse will be zero now let's uh, iterate each digit of this num uh, variable or we can say this palindrome variable because we have copied num value into the palindrome variable so let's use while loop you can use for loop as well so our exit condition will be palindrome value when it becomes zero in that case this uh, condition should be exit now inside that uh, we'll be extracting the last value of uh, input last digit of input variable input number so that will be reminder and we'll be uh, extracting that based on the present 10 now uh, the reverse value will be will doing reverse reverse by multiply 10 plus the reminder which we have uh, extracted from palindrome number and the same uh, calculator value we will be storing into uh, reverse variable now we have performed the operation on last digit of sorry last digit of uh, palindrome number so this palindrome value so now we need to uh, separate out the last number from the entered value let's say if we have in uh, input as one two one now this line is extracting the last digit of uh, this num variable that is one and we have calculated uh, we have done some calculation based on this last number last digit now we need 
as we have done calculation on this last digit now we need to separate this number out and uh, will be remaining uh, other digits so to do that we need to uh, divide palindrome variable with 10 sorry uh, with 10 and we'll store the same into palindrome variable now we have done with this loop now when we exit from this loop we need to check whether this reverse calculated reverse value if it is equal to num or not num is input uh, parameter that's why we are keeping a copy of num into some another variable so that we can uh, perform a logic perform a operation on it and num value value will not changed because we need we need it uh, in the uh, further calculation now we are checking whether this calculated reverse value if it is equal to the num value then we'll be returning true else will be returning false now we have done with uh, this logic let's write a main method and boolean and let's call uh, is palindrome method using uh, sorry let's create one variable first is palindrome now let's call is palindrome method which will be returning a flag true or false and we need to pass here input number now we need to check whether this is palindrome number is true or not if it is true we'll be saying entered number is palindrome number if it is false in that case uh, we will be saying enter number is not palindrome number now we have done with the logic complete logic now it's time to uh, run our program and validate whether it's working fine or not so we are getting enter number is palindrome number as this number is exactly palindrome number so let's pass any another number which is not a palindrome number I'm passing it here to so if we reverse the digits of this number it will be 2 2 3 2 1 so if we compare this digit with the input which we have pa uh, entered here this is not equal so in that case the output should be entered number is not palindrome number so let's run and verify our input enter number is not palindrome number it's working fine let's pass any another number one three five three one so this is a palindrome number you can see one is uh, this one and last also one and second and second last is one and in between we have five so this is a palindrome number let's run and check what output we are getting so entered number is palindrome number so this output is correct and uh, this logic is working fine and we, we have done with this video guys uh, stay tuned for another videos thank you so much